Yes, please. Yes, Hello, Robbie. Um, Hi. I, I think what the point Fabregas was making earlier was that he felt that Chelsea had tried to do it a different, play a different style under Villas Boas, and and since you've taken over, the old Chelsea's come back more direct, more powerful, hitting the target man. W is that a view that you'd you'd concur with? Uh, yeah. Not entirely. I think uh, I think it's a combination probably of it. Uh, if you look back at uh, the Sunday game as well, I think uh, there was a lot of. Uh, Show combinations and uh, possession play and quick, uh, quick combinations. So I wouldn't entirely uh, agree with his statement. La pregunta era si Cesc Fabregas había comentado había comentado que el estilo de del Chelsea había cambiado tras la tras la marcha de de Villas Boas y con el con el nuevo entrenador Roberto Di Matteo y volviendo al a los a cómo jugaba antiguamente el Chelsea siendo más potentes y buscando al número nueve y Creo que no, creo que no, que no es así. Creo que de hecho es algo injusto el que, el que se haga esa apreciación, porque si, si vemos el partido del domingo contra, contra Tottenham, tuvimos también muchos momentos en, en, del encuentro en el que hicimos combinaciones cortas, mantuvimos la posesión del balón y creo que se jugó muy bien. Carrie. Robbie, ¿es el the biggest dilemma whether you defend that away goal or, or try and take the advantage to the camp now? And what's the plan? <laughs> Yeah, when you play a home game, you wanna you wanna get a good result, a positive result uh, into the second leg. Um, so it's it's gonna be a, a game where we obviously have to make sure that uh, we don't concede balls. So we have to try and score a, a goal or two if we can to be able to go into second leg with a good result. La, la pregunta era 